Jackson Smith and Jigba. And another buy for me. You're probably sensing a little bit of something in common here where I like betting on young wide receivers who I think are talented. And I know that like Jackson Smith and Jigba did not have the best rookie season, especially compared to, compared to these two other players that I was just talking about. Jackson Smith and Jigba, just seven half PPR points per game. And a lot of this has to do with the way he was deployed for that Seahawks offense in 2023, getting most of his targets near the line of scrimmage. He had an uh, average depth of target of just 6.4, which is extremely low for a wide receiver. This is low for some tight ends like that. He was very close to the line of scrimmage on a lot of his work. And those kind of targets just aren't that conducive to a lot of fantasy success. You'd have to be a player like, Debo Samuel, who's coming up again here in this podcast, and you'll hear up again later on, but who's absolutely the best of the best out for the catch to really be able to find a lot of fantasy success on an average depth of target that low. And while Jackson Smith and Jigba is talented and I think can be a very good wide receiver in the league, he's not like that after the catch. He just doesn't make sense in that kind of role. But Shane Waldron's gone. We've got Ryan Grubb coming in as the new offensive coordinator there who's known for this high-flying, pushing-the-ball-down-the-field type of passing offense that I think he's going to just incorporate right into the Seahawks' offense because the pieces are there for it. Geno Smith is a quarterback who likes to push the ball down the field. It makes a lot of sense for him to be an offensive coordinator for that team. Now, as I talk about these wide receivers, we're just continuing to move down, runs the ladder a little bit on where they can be valued. Jackson Smith and Jigba is around Jaden Reed, depending on where you look, those two are going to be close, but they could be swapped on who's ahead of who. I think he is uh, similarly ranked as Jaden Reed for me. And I think like the trades you can use to get Jaden Reed, you can also use to get Jackson Smith and Jigba. The same ones I talked about before with say flowers, maybe tearing down from George Pickens, maybe tearing down from Debo Samuel to get to him are trades that I like. Last player for this episode is that 